Hi, everyone, and welcome to Paper Pumpkin Week here on Creative Chelsea. Today, I am sharing with you, I think this is my fourth or fifth alternative card, and I am excited to, because it's got some really fun elements to it. The um, Paper Pumpkin Kit that I am using is the June 2024 Life is Sweet Kit, and it creates nine cards, three in these three different designs. If you're interested in watching me unbox the kit so you can see exactly what came inside or creating these original projects, you can click on the playlist in the top right corner. I will also include all of my alternatives there as well. So if you've missed any of my past alternatives, um, you can just go right there to see them all. So today's card has this really fun orange and um, kind of a summer splash blue green color. I love the repetition in the background and we're starting to use some of our scraps that we have left over from um, some of our previous alternative projects. So I'm excited to share this one with you. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to begin with our peach pie envelope and I'm gonna go ahead and trim it to three and a quarter inches, which is the width. And then we'll rotate and trim it just a slightly smaller than five inches at four and seven eighths. So it's not gonna give us the same size border all the way around. It's a little larger border on the left and right and skinnier at the top and bottom. All right, so once we have that cut, we're going to grab some orange ink. I'm gonna use peach pie, and we're going to create this repetitive pattern in the background. And you really can do this however you want. I like to kind of start in one spot and then just kind of start going at it. Um, there's no really right or wrong. What I'm going to do is just find a way to kind of organize the repetition. So I'm gonna put the Y above the T in truly, and I'm just gonna work my way up the card. Whoops, that's the wrong one. Work my way up the card, and as soon as I don't, can't do any more, which happens kind of quickly, I'm going to then create a second greeting here on the right side. So maybe the G is going to be above the apostrophe, okay? So we'll do that here as well. And then right here, okay? And so you're just gonna keep working your way all the way up. So the G is gonna go above the apostrophe or the Y is above the T. So as you continue to use that uh, rule, then you're going to create this nice repetition all the way over around your paper. Okay, so I've got just the corners now to do. I'll just give you kind of a close-up of what it looks like. I might have to kind of look and see how it works. So right here, the A, the E is right above the A. So the next one I do, I'm going to kind of stack the E above the A like that. So the E, so here, so now I'm gonna put the A below the E and then the Z. I should find something to do with the Z. So the Z has an O from your, like that, okay? Oh, and I've got a hole here too. So the Z, let's see, the Z has the Y and the T. Okay, that makes sense. And then I should probably finish this one with maybe a little bit of a Y peeking out. Okay, 
So really easy way to create. Oh, well, I just got ink on my finger. We'll just stick something there. <laughs> or we'll splatter, which was what we're going to do anyway. So we'll go ahead and clean up the glass mat. If you're interested in getting your own glass mat, um, I do love mine. And they are on sale now for customers. So you can check that out on my um, Stampin' Up! store. And the link to the um, products that I use are listed in the description below. So I'm going to use pumpkin pie to make my splatters because I don't have the peach pie markers yet. So you really can use any colors here. If you don't have peach pie either for stamping the greeting, you could use um, peach uh, pumpkin pie or another orange color. Okay. So there is that. All right, the next thing we're going to do is get a strip of pumpkin pie and it's one inches by, I think it was four and a quarter or maybe just four inches. And I'm going to flag the ends and I'm gonna do that by cutting a um, slit, which I've already done in the center. And then you go from corner to the top of that slit and it's gonna give you this perfect fishtail each and every time. So that's what I like to do for that. And that's going to go right there in kind of the center. We're also going to have some accent pieces with this leftover frame. And um, you can really use any of these pieces. I am going to kind of trim it right where it stops being straight. So right where it kind of starts to turn into a curve, go ahead and trim those, trim it right off there. And then you'll also want to kind of finish any leaves. So you'll want to kind of separate these ends and finish any pieces. So this one here, let's see how it's going to look on my card. So it looks like if I complete this one here, then that should be okay. And I can always put like a pumpkin, not a pumpkin, but a peach over any raw areas, okay? So I've got this nice little stem right there that kind of makes it look good. That's gonna go right underneath my thanks just like that. So it's not an exact match to what I have here, but that's okay. You know, I can take some of these extra pieces. Let's go ahead and finish. Let's cut some of these out. So I've got this one. I decided to finish that leaf by cutting into the space on the edge because I know I'm not going to use this scallop for anything. So I can do the same here, kind of finish the top and here as well. Oops, get a little closer and then rotate it around to get a nice top to that leaf. And I can always add these like on the ends too. I might separate these two here so I can use one on each end. Or maybe I separate it down here like that. So I have this one here and then this one here. I think that will be nice. Okay, so I've added some things and we're going to save this one for some other projects. Um, and then we've got this vellum piece. And I didn't use, which is surprising to me, but I didn't use this vellum piece a lot on my projects. But what I wanted to do here is create kind of a lighter color. And I added some Wink of Stella. So you can do that same thing with just some peach pie. You don't have to add the vellum. Um, this is just that envelope piece, some of that leftover. 
I'm going to find my thanks and see if it's big enough to cut out. Oh, well, look at that. It's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out some of this peach pie and you can see what it looks like. And then I'll do it with the vellum and you can see the difference and you can choose which one you want to do. All right. So here's my thanks and just peach pie. You can pop it onto your orange and you can see what that looks like. And then if you add the vellum on top, it just makes it just a little bit wider, which is kind of a nice contrast. So it just tones it down one more step. So I'm going to just do the exact same thing that I did for this one. And um, you're going to need to add a little bit of adhesive to the back. All right. So to add the adhesive, I just placed some liquid glue on some scratch paper and then I've got my vellum upside down. I'm going to take a little piece of tissue paper towel. I'm going to add the glue to the paper towel and then just kind of start tapping that glue onto the vellum. Now um, we want it to be really thin so that we don't see the glue when we apply the vellum or apply the vellum to the cardstock. Okay. We do have to be careful that the um, paper towel doesn't actually stick, which is what it just did. Okay. But that's the what you want to do. You could use like a sponge as well. I just um, I want to do something I can throw away so it doesn't get sticky all over. Give that a, just a little minute to dry. You don't want it to be super wet, but you don't want it to be all the way dry because then it won't be a permanent seal. And then you can just add it right over that cardstock. Okay. Oh, there we go. So I love the way that looks. If you, like I said, want to use just peach pie, you can do that. We're going to add that to our pumpkin pie with dimensionals. Okay, so I've placed dimensionals. And then that just goes right in the center. Place it a little bit higher so that you have room to add the foliage underneath. So like that. Then if you have Wink of Stella, you can add a little Wink of Stella. I just added it kind of on the verticals and then just get a quick swipe horizontally. So I didn't try to get it like all over, just the bigger spots. Okay, can you see that little bit of shine? Sometimes it's hard for the camera to capture that. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and add our foliage. That's going to go right in the middle underneath our thinks. So I'm going to add this. So we should probably add this first now that I think about it. So let me add some adhesive to the back. You can place this really wherever you want. I am just going to maybe place it here. I'm not exactly sure where that is. And you want to make sure that it's even coming off the edges at about the same spot, which is about three eighths of an inch. Then you can add your foliage. Just kind of tuck that up and underneath. Kind of also in the center. I added a glue dot or two to hold that down. And then if you want to kind of complete the look, you can add some extra uh, ferns and stuff around. Let's place this one right about there. And then we'll do this one. on this side here. There. I think that looks really good. So let's add this to our card. I'm going to pop it up with some dimensionals in the corners and just put it on a card base of thick basic white cardstock. Just 
just like that. Then you can take your peaches and kind of tuck those underneath. So I just realized this little guy, I don't even know if I need it because we're going to tuck this here. Maybe I'll switch the spots of these two. Okay, we'll add those in just a minute. Let's add our peaches first. So I did add a little dimensional on the right side. You know what, that's really big. I'm gonna go with a smaller one. Or on the left side, sorry. And then I can kind of tuck that underneath my thinks. Then over here I've got one with a glue dot that's kind of tucked underneath my pumpkin pie strip off a little bit and then my littlest one to go on underneath the S and the K just like that. That's cute. Okay, so now let's just kind of see what would look good Maybe that little one right there. Maybe have it come off just a little bit. There. Okay. And then we'll take a little bit of linen thread. I'm going to do about 10 inches. You could go a little bigger if you wanted to. Tie a bow and we'll add that underneath the S. I'm going to put it right where that those two pieces kind of connect so that it hides that connection. Come on. Right there. I can tuck it underneath the S2 a little bit. There, and that card is all done. I love how it turned out. I love being able to use up the scraps in fun and beautiful ways like this. I, will, I hope you enjoyed watching me create this fun card. If you're interested in seeing close-up images or getting written instructions, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. If you would like to subscribe to get your own paper pumpkin kit, you can do so using the link in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.